What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. I am today with Martina. What up? Martina and I wanted to challenge ourselves. As you know, I've been here for six years. Martina has been Three here years. for... Let's be honest. Shanghai is a international cosmopolitan city, which means that you can find a variety of Western products western restaurant it hasn't really gave us the chance or the the courage to try new things we went to the convenience store for those who don't know what a convenience store is it is a place that is open 24 7 and when you go there you basically find anything you you like convenience stores are usually pretty popular in asia I lived in Japan and you've been in Korea, Korea right? Yeah. I think it's a, for sure the lifesaver whenever you need something, you feel hungry or you're like hangover coming back in the morning yeah. <laughs> after fighting then I would say for me sometimes it's kind of like the downside of the <laughs> you never know what exactly it is don't have any dishwashing soap anymore like and you're running out of it and you really have yeah, this urge to, to, to wash your dishes, dishes so well <laughs> no worries, it's there! Convenience stores, just in general, are life savers and I just... I'm so surprised to not see any of those yet in Europe, especially in France. Mm. We are at the convenience store. The rule is to take <laughs> things that we have never tried before. So we will try to get a bit of everything just to end up on a sweet note and make sure that we still enjoy at least one thing. <laughs> we finish something? <laughs> I'm going to pick up uh, one of the things that I like and Martina is going to do the same. Yes. Sir. All right. Let's are you ready? It. Let's go. I see already have stuff. <gasps> oh. We're trying already that. Oh I my have, god, fish yeah, flavor. Roasted fish flavor, this one. Cumin and lamb. I think it's taro and lemon. Uh, taro and lemon. lemon. I mean, this is not real bread, if I have to compare no. it to European bread. I mean... Yeah, this is the painful thing when you're coming up to China or like to... I feel like... I think Japan is still okay, but like Korea is also like... If you go for garlic, this is going to be a sweet garlic bread. Oh, this is so cute. Avocado biscuit. Just... I've seen this and I thought that we should try it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh, chocolate. chocolate! Oh no! <laughs> we are getting this one. <laughs> Up! It's going to be blue. Oh. What? Is this split? I guess it's the egg. Wait, there's another one. Oh, there is. What is this? Okay, so not. Let's try it out. Okay, so here are like, the, like very typical Chinese snacks. As you can see, there's beef jerky. So those are like sour plums. I think that those, for example, those are the duck, duck tongue. We gotta go for that. <laughs> I know, I know. We gotta go for that. Duck yeah, tongue. This is the, I think this is the duck neck. Okay. I, look at this, it's just like a lot of like um, Japanese mm. oh, thing in. Yeah. This looks nice looks actually. Ch yeah, chicken leg or chicken thigh with honey. And there's another one right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So as you can see here in convenience store, you can literally like find anything you need. This is the section for men and women, but like you can even find products for your house. And here is the ready meal section. For me, it's literally, I, I guess that this should be vegan. Let's give it a try. <laughs> is the chocolate, chocolate water? Yeah. Is it vegan? Yeah. This one is a bit empty. It's already a lot of things here. Yeah. Now when we need to pay, we don't need to go directly to the cashier. We don't need to go directly to the cashier anymore. We're basically using those self-cashing devices and we pay with our phones. I'm just afraid that we could around and stuff that at some point they will be like, oh, you need the help. <laughs> we have all our things. So <laughs> let's go now to the apartment and try all these things out. So we've got a bit of everything, as you can see. We've got desserts. We've got um, drinks. drinks that looks cute, but we don't know what it is. <laughs> we've got drinks here also that we decided to take just because of they look cool. I mean, <laughs> Dragon Ball. We had we had to take it. Uh, Chinese typical snacks. Some uh, different versions of the typical snacks that would be 
usually sweet i would say the ice cream also because of the packaging we took it we took it out it's like very chinese style like like, let's start with something small I forgot, disclaimer As we are not really good in the Mandarin We wanted to say that we are not mocking anyone we, we, This is not us making fun We are making it just for uh, our, the, our curiosity yeah. To find out about all of the other snack Maybe for you will be like Oh my god, what this is chocolate You should know right away For some of it, we just took it Because it looked, the packaging looked cool Yeah, There are things that we dared ourselves to try We are not here to mock or to critique It's literally only our personal opinion in here eager to try local products and understand why all those um, snacks are so popular I guess it's time to start so let's get into the video yeah. all right so <laughs> <laughs> I never try like the, the salty version of those This is a Japanese brand mm. It is definitely a local product because the crayfish right here mm. is not only a seasonal product but it's uh, something you, that you will only find in China Crayfish, which I already forgot the name in Chinese I, I remember like seeing a video from uh, Blondie in China and I'll, I'll probably link it down below and I was like, hmm, okay, well that's the first step into trying the flavor <laughs> It looks like it's basically uh, breadsticks yeah, yeah. Smells like crayfish Oof. It smells fishy Strong. for sure <laughs> Hello me time, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. This is definitely something we will like have along with a beer. I love the um, spicy kick at the back. Mm. Like really good. Yeah. I will definitely buy this again. Mm. Really this nice. is good. So let's go for the drink. I have no idea what it is. First of all, like when you took it to your hand, I was like, is it something for kidneys? <laughs> There's a bean, karori, oh, zero karori, okay, wow. no calorie. <laughs> okay, um, shika, shiga, furi, shiga, ah, sugar free. Sure. My reading in Japanese is a bit rusty. Okay. The healthy drink, sometimes the flavor, questionable. <laughs> so I'm looking. It smells sweet. I wanna try this. <laughs> I, mean, maybe... I taste the red bean, mm. but it's basically like the azuki beans with no sugar It's kind of like they, they boiled them, but they took out all of the ones and they just left the water uh, that it, where it was boiling It could be, it could be <laughs> huh. okay. It's nice I mean, it's nice Interesting I'm not into like sweet drinks, so mm. that's definitely a drink that I could buy again, I guess I just heard <laughs> the Japanese It is azuki water We mm. have you have the Nike skis, you have you have the Dragon Ball, there is Paketa here, there is uh, <laughs> there is uh, Son Goku. So this is for me, I saw it and I was like, you're coming yes, home with you me. <laughs> coming with me. This is a sport drink actually. It's a BCAA uh, water, so it's supposed to support like the intense effort in oh, workout. Okay, so. Okay. so it's kind of like power rate. Yeah, it's a supplement. I used to take some BCAA when I was on a fitness journey. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can see it from my face. Oh my <laughs> I like the way I look, okay? <laughs> it's almost like it smells like candy. Mm. I'm so curious. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. It this, tastes like medicine! My god, uh. this smell uh. totally threw me off. so funny because the thing that looks the most appealing yeah. turned out to be like the least favorite except yeah. for this one. Oh yeah yeah but um like the one that we were the most scared of theirs are not to be actually okay we were like oh yeah okay. discover everything that you assume is going to be the one way is actually yeah. what is be white you know what okay so first it's of all bird nest this yeah. is what it says first of all the name be white i don't know why why did you decide to go with this one? Maybe it's more for the something that in Asia is very like always appreciated highly, which is like the more fair tone of the skin. Yeah. And as far as I know, for the for the bird nest, uh, you can buy them, especially the bird nest and like the spit because you use spit, bird spit when they make the nest. And apparently, it's like very high, like very highly with high with nutrition. Okay. This one was twenty nine RMB. 
but some of the ones that you will see in like the much bigger convenience stores or even on the duty free shops it they're at least like from 500 going up oh wow okay they're you they're made using uh, the saliva solid saliva so, uh, saliva yeah, and that they're harvested for the human consumption and they are the most popular in china so it has like the protein so okay the the name and the look a bit scary but doesn't have any smells okay. it's odorless yeah <laughs> it's very fibery yeah. but it's good i think they just oh one shot she's going for it no it doesn't have much flavor i actually. think it's just uh it shows like it has like the like, fiber kind of here, like the fibers, yeah so yeah but it doesn't have much flavor actually i think they just put just just a bit of sugar like a flavor mm. but overall is actually okay i love the package yeah i have to say the packaging is very interesting because it's following like old propaganda um kind of uh graphics so it's literally just whoop, ice cream bar um i think i really i think it's, it smells like strawberry i got some Oh my god. I went too close. Okay, let's go let's for go, it. Let's I go think that this is the least. Oh, okay, it's just strawberry ice cream. Oh! Yeah! We forgot about that one over there. Uh, this, those are popcorn flavored, uh, cream flavored. Grab one. I can't. I'll grab more. One, two. two. <laughs> it's good. I'll grab more. Mm. Mm. Okay. Doesn't taste like cream though. Mm. This is like sweet popcorn. Oh, wait. I just started to bite and I didn't and then like the sugar rush came. Yeah, it's super sweet. Damn, I didn't expect this one. We have the family marts like making their own desserts. They're usually yeah. seasonal. We decided to go for some random dessert that was just standing on there. That it has some uh, orange-ish noodles and on the bottom it seems that it's like something in cho with chocolate so i'll try to grab both as well a bit of everything yeah like this Ooh. Mm. Mm. i think it's nice maybe not necessarily the the topping yeah i was going to say the same thing mm. but it's way too sweet yeah and the chocolate is not like it's a kind of a chocolate mousse if i only had the chocolate mousse i'll be yeah yeah, so yeah i would rather that. have <gasps> you know what you can do you can get the chocolate mousse and then just connect with the strawberry <laughs> this one is actually we don't know what it is it's a uh, wax berries with pudding and it says um we need to shake it <laughs> oh oh fizzy okay oh interesting whoa texture it looks very fizzy a bit blurry i think there's jelly or something mm. on the top mm. this smell okay so first of all for smells. me smells really yes nice. But because it tastes good, it really tastes good. It's just that the peasiness is, is disturbing your palate. You're like, oh, like this is pretty much how you sell stuff. You just put them in the <laughs> Make it look packaging good. and then <laughs> girls are going to buy it because it looks good. If you like this kind of content and if you want to see a part two of us trying out um, those snacks, please let us know. Hit the like uh, button, subscribe and hit the notification bell <laughs> convenience store has like so many other snacks that we want to try and there are so many other section that we wanted to take things from but yeah it definitely deserves like a part two so mm. hopefully like you guys can make this happen to stay in the seasonal stuff there's something that we saw earlier and we were like yeah we want to give it a try it's the um, chestnut. <laughs> it's the chestnut the chestnut chips from Lay's. So like Lay's here does such an amazing job providing such a variety mm. of like interesting flavors. You have the most popular one and one of the, the first that I've like was intrigued when I came to China, cucumber. Oh yeah, cucumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they were like, when I came and I saw them, for me it was like, what it was what happened here but actually if you try them they're really nice Since, i mean like they just pause for a second chips cucumber <laughs> like seriously no but this is why it's so intriguing because like i remember when i saw the packaging i was like wait wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> cucumber has 
sort of a flavor. And it actually tastes good. Whatever this is, <laughs> whatever, is whatever this is, is good. Like Lace is always providing here, like the, like China with so much random flavors for the cherry blossom for the spring. They yeah. had they had the cherry oh, the blossom. Oh, the sakura one. Flavor. Yeah. Let's give this baby a try. <laughs> wow. Of course. The they energy, all want to come to me. The energy <laughs> that she has down. Taste like coffee! You expect them to taste in sort of way, but they end up not having the flavor that you think it was supposed to be at all. No. Not what I was expecting. Why does it taste like coffee? So these are fake sausages, like I, like I like to call them, because most of the time this doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste like real sausages. At least not like the sausage we knew back in Europe, okay? Yeah. I think six years ago when I was seeing like food trucks, mm. like grilling sausages and everything, I was like, ooh, yummy, with some Chinese spice, it would taste good. Yeah. You would buy it and you would like smell, mm, okay, and taste. And it like, it's, <laughs> honestly, it doesn't taste good. Like at least those that I've tried, mm. most of them like taste sweet and they're like yeah. have extra like unknown flavors mm, mm. that don't match with each other <laughs> so we took particularly the, i mean actually martina chose that one it it has the textures of like fake sausages or at least like processed sausages it smells like ugh. <laughs> it smells like sausages that i don't like mm, okay oh wait there is a transition over there. What is happening? Ooh! Oh, damn! I like it! It tastes good. Mm. It tastes pretty so good. So, at first, you don't really feel the flavor, mm. but it is spicy. Yeah. It I is think spicy. that's the Sichuan. Mm, the Sichuan spice. After we talk bad about all the <laughs> sausages, we're so sorry. Actually, mm. there are good ones. <laughs> this is beef with shredded veal and five spices comes in like individual mm. packagings again so as you can see most of the snacks that are in big that seems you know like complicated to eat yeah. they actually comes in like like individual packagings snack on the go you can taste the beef jerky mm. Mm. Not spicy. Comparing to the sausage, it's not spicy at not all. Not at all. You can taste the oil though. Like, because like, I'm guessing the beef jerky is like so dry that it, and this is why it's soaked with oil, is kind yeah. of like to give a certain moist. It's tasty, but for me, like the oil is definitely a huge turn down. I feel like I'm eating oil at the same time as I'm eating the jerky. Uh, we ran out of it because <laughs> camera four. was not on our side and we there were only four. And the two times where we tried again to film, it was not recording. So these were um, quail eggs. Those were also coming in individual packagings mm. and it tasted like um, tea eggs. Tea eggs, except that the white, the egg white part was very hard mm. and thin. And what I love about tea eggs is that it gives an extra flavors to the boiled eggs. But yeah, we were saying that for the for the things, most likely this is not necessarily something we would we would grab to to have during the breakfast or yeah, I would as a snack. But the actual the the fresh ones that they will be making in yeah. the convenience store, they're really nice. And so who knows? Like, let us know in the comments if you're curious about it. We might do also a video about. Sabrina will teach you how to do it. I can it's try to make homemade, <laughs> yeah, like homemade tea eggs. That would be really fun because it's one of my favorite things mm. to enjoy for, for breakfast and it's so super cheap. Yeah. The things that I wanted to mention is that as you can see, like most of the snacks, the typical Chinese snacks are not really processed, like or barely mm. processed. Yeah. So yeah. that's also one of the particular things and one of the things that fascinates me about like uh, the Chinese cuisines and snacks is that they really try to preserve like the original form of the product and then play around it with different flavors and like uh, spices so yeah i mean that's pretty cool and this is definitely something that we don't see a lot yeah like yeah, back in our like... home country mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> martin i left the chat <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing that we wanted 
to try the least. Here we have the version with, which is not spicy. This, this is, is like lemon. lemon. There's a lemon yeah. on, like on the package. Again, it comes with individual packaging. Yep. Uh, let's not <laughs> judge a book by its cover. It's such a popular snack here mm. in China. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We're not gonna lie, um, it doesn't look appealing. Coming from a country where the uh, overall look is super important. Yeah. I mean, eatable. Obviously eatable. But it is edible. Yeah. Oh wow. But uh, I don't know. It's just. The it's nice actually. Damn. For me, it's just the but fact that it is a chicken. It just like the the visuals. It makes me. Yeah. Like, mm. I mean, taste wise, taste buds. It's really good. It has this this. You can you can you uh, feel like this like spice mm, heating mm -hmm. at the end? Yeah. For me, the big turn down is the fact that this. <laughs> The feet, the texture is okay. It's kind of gooey. In this, you could see me. I was trying like the finger, and actually, I think they boil it long enough so for you to feel. yeah. So oh. it's for you, so you can show the, the yeah. I won't go further than that. I mean, it's good, but um, that's definitely not my thing. Hmm. Wow, well, you're <laughs> going for it. I'm really like trying. Like, yeah, what's missing? <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> this for is us, just our opinion. Yep. Those ones. Chocolate yeah. chips. So this is the collab of the Japanese brand Oishi. Oishi and, and Lelecha. This is how it looks inside. Whoa, well, I think this looks very nice. The chocolate is taking over the total yeah. flavor. It doesn't taste like chip at all. Mm. It just tastes like crispy chocolate. <laughs> During childhood time, you always wanted to drink like hot choco. Mm. So you have like the yeah. next, next week, next week, next week, next week, next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week with the bunny, yeah, you had it. Uh, it does taste like next week. And you would like, I, I would even be this eager and I would just eat the powder by, by itself. <laughs> it's good, but it's still not something I would normally go for. I like it. I think this one. I th is the one that we never get bored of eating <laughs> again and again, even if like we, this is the, like the third take. <laughs> Originally, we thought that it would look like this, like dried squid-ish kind of like chips, but in the end, it looks like this. Looks like a. Like the crackers, the, the 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 ones that you have like the shrimp. Like yeah, the, the shrimp. Yeah, that's for the shrimp chips. Mm. And it tastes good. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm. This is it. This is <laughs> yeah, it. this is the I thing. I love it. It's really good. Yeah, it's I really, really it. nice. Really. We were supposed to only take one snack. Oh yeah, actually. But um, I took two because I couldn't decide. Same. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> You were like, okay, okay, we're getting one. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. One. And then I'm like, okay. I went for Pocky because I mean. My Japan's God. goes with Pocky, but not, wait a minute guys, not any kind of Pocky. They're filled with almonds, Ooh, uh, those with almond they crunch, know. they're so nice. There isn't as many as uh, there is in normal Pocky packages, mm. um, and those ones are a little bit more expensive. I think oh. those ones are like 15 kwai, but really <laughs> So I took you this to mm. try. This was my drink for the entire summer jasmine tea this one was literally and i made my roommate jay addicted to this one. Oh, this one is like at least filled with the custard oh okay so uh my my kind of favorite ones the ones i always go for mm -hmm. plus i know that we were supposed to go for one but then i saw this <laughs> and i was like oh damn so this is something i i love snacking and uh whenever I, at the end of the day when i have time i just i just go netflix and chill uh, I feel I always crave for something, okay. so I don't want to go for chips, I don't want to go for very sweet things. So I kind of, I don't know how healthy it is, but I kind of lie to myself that it is healthy because <laughs> those are like the bars of the apple and the carrot. I want to try this first. Yeah. So this is uh, part of the bakery part oh, yeah, and it's family also Mart. made by Family Mart because Family Mart also make their own product. I usually eat two and then I will just fill them, eat them in the morning. Oh yeah, there's custard. It's nice. Mmm. Interesting. Mm. The oh, that's good. The custard yeah. is really good. Mm. It's so funny because actually those are the things that I would never go for. Oh. The bread itself is very soft and sweet, but the custard is like like plain. I love the color. I saw it before. Buy one. The second one is one quai. So seven quai. It was seven quai for two. So this is why like the entire <laughs> summer 
That's the only thing. Every time that I was like, <laughs> I was thirsty, enough. not drinking water. No, no, no. Just go for that. Well, it's not cold anymore, oh. but it tastes much better mm. when it's cold. I think that the smell itself, oh, no. it just makes me like more calm. As weird as it sounds, you're like, suddenly you smell and in the dream you feel like I'm peaceful. Yeah. I'm peaceful. <laughs> Their overall, it's a. Uh, I think I'll give it a try. It tastes like like it smells like fruit paste. Mm. Apple is there for sure. Carrot, not so sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. If you guys can read, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't try this one. Oh, and it's like yeah, you got full packaging. packaging. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like you know, like the Magnum Magnum ice cream. Oh. Mm. Okay. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, today we've tried it a lot of things. Guys, to be honest, I had so much fun. Uh, none of those things except the, the one at the end, I never tried. But the convenience store is always it's kind of like the treasure hunt that you just go and whatever you see, like, oh, this might be good, this might be not. You never really know. Yeah. But thank you for inviting me. Yes. It, was, it was a lot of fun. We tried some uh, like so many different ones. I actually already have like the, some of the favorite for sure, baby. Yes, yeah, this, this one. Yes, I mean, I would say for me it's also this yes. With the yeah, beer. we went for things that we would normally never buy or wonder. We're curious about it. Things that. I thought it would taste bad, it turned out to taste yeah, really this good. Is so true. And yeah. the completely opposite, the things that I was like, okay, this yeah. must, for example, this <laughs> must taste good, or at least, you know, like chestnuts is a good thing. And actually, uh, this is the least things that I've liked. So glad that I did this with you, so thank you again, <laughs> Martina, for joining once again. Uh, if you like and want to see a part two, Make sure to hit the like button and you encourage me to tr to buy some of the things that I was like, ah, you know, was just like <laughs> exactly like without you, I would have not even tried like bird nest, you know, Martina's channel and Instagram are linked in the description below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in another one. Bye. Bye. -bye.